So we're going to Raja Suites in the heart of the Mahatma Gandhi district here in Houston. But before that, we're gonna go check out this super cool spot. It's a Mandir, the first one in the country. 33,000 pieces that was first assembled in India and then kind of built like a Lego set right in the middle of Houston. Look at that. That's no joke, man. Aja Sweets was the first Indian restaurant to open here in Houston back in 1986 by the Gahunia family. Today, Sharon is keeping her father's legacy alive alongside her mother by bringing Indian flavors of their homeland to the people of Texas. My dad's motto was bring the streets of India to Hillcroft. So we make food the way you would find it in India, you know? You know you're in a different country for like a better life or for work purpose, but you want to be able to feel at home. And when people come here, that's what they feel. It's that feeling of, okay, we're home. My parents migrated from London, landed in the United States. And he picked Cleveland and <laughs> too cold there as well. He's like, oh my God, it snows and it's way too cold. So then he's like, I'm just going to go far south as possible. And he landed in Houston, Texas. Houston's pretty far south as yeah, you can get. Yeah, exactly. I landed in Houston, he realized there's not a big uh, a gathering place where Indian people can go, like during the Wali and Ramadan. So he's like, I want a place where the community can get together. They have a sari store and a jewelry store, but no Indian restaurant. You know, there's no other place here that makes fresh sweets from scratch. Everything's frozen, coming in from New York or coming in from India. So that's where the idea came that's up amazing. for Raja Sweets. So this area is called Hillcroft? It's called Little India. The city of Houston gave us our own proclamation and officially got named as the Mahatma Gandhi District. Three businesses were in the early 80s, Indian and Pakistani businesses. Now we have over 65. So jalebi is a very popular dessert back home. They're literally like little funnel cake. Flour, a little bit of baking soda. Everything that they make, they make by hand and fresh. and then the sugars in the, in the syrup. On a daily basis, they make 50 pounds. A lot of flick of the wrist, yeah. huh? Just like. <laughs> okay, just gather up like this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, no. I ain't got the flick of the wrist like you do. I made those special just for you. <laughs> so rasgulla, it's like a cheese and milk-based dessert. So they actually boil the milk, and then once it's boiled, they take it to get cooled. And they oh, add a little no. bit of vinegar to it, and then it makes this texture. It has the feeling of like ricotta. And then each one by hand. Uncle, you have the feeling, huh? Yeah. You don't even need, need no, <laughs> no, no, no scale? That's, no, no scale. That's for amateurs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Little India feels like home? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the wives work in the front, the uncles work in the back. Family operated restaurant. Raja means king. Raja sweets is like king sweets, you know? King sweets. Coming to the right spot, man. So these are all made by hand and they, they're different flavors. Some have almonds, some have pistachios. This one's made from chickpeas, flour, and sugar. One of my good favorites. It actually tastes like peanut butter brittle. Mom, what's your favorite? Julie. <laughs> the Julie, yeah. And bison. <laughs> all right. I like the crunchiness of that. You the, made it. I know, I made it. <laughs> Where's mine's one? Let me see if it's in there. It's like crunchy, sticky, and gooey. It gets all over your fingers. That's very old traditional, like more than 500 years mm. yeah. in India. So that's grinded chickpeas flour. Oh man, that's delicious. We make a food also like a homemade food, you know. One of our customers, he come every day. Every single day. Every single day. That's dedication. How many years has it been coming? Last? Like last uh, 10, 12 years. <laughs> yeah. Every, every day. day. Because you always want to be able to connect to your roots and your culture and where you're from. 
What was your thought when your husband said, I'm going to America? Open, big country, it's a better life. You know, when my parents did land here, they had literally, my, I think my dad had $20, because he had all, lost all his savings from London, closing that restaurant and then opening it in Cleveland. They saved up for six years. She uh, worked at four Dunkin' years, four years. Four years. Four she years. worked at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, was her one job. Year. And the nighttime. And my children is small. <laughs> he yeah. worked at Burger King. He was a manager at Burger King. In their minds, they're like, we're gonna achieve the American dream, which is being successful in America because there's so much opportunity. And then we are first longest running Indian restaurant in Texas now. 31 years. 31 in April 20th, yeah. So back in uh, 2002, your dad passed away. Yes. It was hard, but we wanted to keep his legacy alive. What type of man was he? He's very good. He's very active in the community, you know. Very strict with you guys? Yeah, he yeah. was pretty strict. Going <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a very outgoing personality, yeah. very charming. Everybody that would come in, he would just make friends with yeah. them. Yeah. And you say, sit down, have sit tea. Sit down, have yeah. you eat. Uh, you know, eat what you want. Yeah, yeah. He would give yeah. away so yeah. much free stuff. And after he passed, he wasn't able to see the city proclaim it as Mahatma Gandhi district, but he came mm -hmm. up with the idea. Him and the other two, the one that owns the sari place and the jewelry yeah. place, it was their idea. Let's, like, let's make this home. Oh, that's amazing what your father did. Yeah, yeah. he did. He was kind of like the founding father of, you know, Indian food here in Houston. <laughs> Welcome to Houston. <laughs>